our goal in our design in Photoshop is to create a website. So the next step is to create images. And to achieve this, we need to slice the PSD. I'm Mac, welcome to graphics.tv. In this episode, we're gonna pick up from where we left off in part four. So what I've done here is opened up the, uh, the PSD. And uh, this is where we left off. So what I've done now in my uh, design is to basically change this font color because uh, it doesn't really look nice. And also the color here on the place and order button. So to achieve that, what I did was I went to my type tool, clicked and highlighted the font, and then clicked here on the color picker and chose, and I just sampled the color from, from here. So I'll just click okay, and then the color applies. And I did the same here on the place and order button. So I just went to the type tool again, clicked and highlighted the text. And then sampled the color from here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, slice this PSD. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to the slice tool and then select slice tool, not the slice select tool, okay? All right, so um, I'm gonna click, hold, and then just drag. And this is gonna be our first slice. And this is the header part of the, uh, the website. Okay, our next slice is gonna be the button. So I'm just gonna click, hold, and just drag. Now, if you don't get it right the first time, what you could do is you can just uh, click on the corners and just stretch uh, to fit like so. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this until I've done all the buttons. So I'm going to click again, drag. Now I'm just doing it a bit quick here, but um, if you do make a mistake and you feel that your slice is not right in position, all you do is you can just go back and just uh, readjust by clicking these corners and just making sure that you've got the right um, selection. And um, like, as you can see here, I've selected this contact uh, uh, button. So now to go and readjust the, um, say for example, the orders, because I can see right here, I've gone down a bit too far. I can always go back, click and hold down this um, slice tool and then go to the slice select tool. So now this will enable you to click the other slices and readjust like so. Okay. So, okay, we're gonna continue slicing. I'll select the slice tool again. And this time we're gonna we're gonna slice the button. So I'm just gonna hold drag. Okay, I'm just gonna readjust that a little bit. And then the cupcake. Like so. Right, brilliant. Now we've got all our slices selected. So now the next step is to click on uh, file. Save for web and devices. Now this is very, this step is very important because we want to make sure that all our slices are named so that we can um, easily identify them when we have saved them. So what we're gonna do now is to click uh, on this main header area, the first, uh, the first slice. So we're gonna double click and name this header. Okay, and then we're gonna call this home button. Okay, so we can just continue doing that. And then, okay, I think we've got all the slices named now. Oh, okay, I need to do the about us. Okay, just to double check if you've uh, named them all, or what you have to do is just to double click on it. So as you can see here, we've got header home button yeah and so on yeah this looks fine so now what we want to do now is to save these images so what we could do here is um, here we want to save this as actually I'll just save all these as JPEG so that should be okay so I'm gonna hold the shift key and select all these slices like so 
just by clicking them. After selecting all these, what we're going to do now is go to save. And um, we're going to save these to the desktop. So here we need to come to this section which says slices. Uh, like I said earlier, we don't want to save all these slices. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this drop down and select selected slices and then click save. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to minimize this and then we're going to have a look at um, we're going to have a look at our slices or our images rather. So here is here we've got our images folder. So I'm going to double click and here now we have all these images. So if I double click on cupcake, you'll notice that that's our image now. And uh, the header background, the header. Okay, that's the header. Excellent. Okay. Now in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to put all this together. <coughs> so um, if you want to follow along, I've included the link to the PSD in the show notes. So just head over to graphics.tv. Uh, that's G-R-A-F-X dot TV and download it for free. I'd like to hear your comments or suggestions, so keep them coming. All right, see you in the ne next episode. Bye-bye.